Goes to the right-hand side, out towards the big men. Wait, it's, it's Edmed, puts a little kick through. The kick through for Holiday. For, for, oh, try time, try time. Yeah, obviously the, the score speaks for itself, but definitely a, a game of two halves. I thought we kind of laid the foundation really early. Uh, we were able to put you know, 40 points on in the first half. Uh, in saying that, though, I think the, the Tongan schools did come back to kind of find a bit of rhythm, which kind of you know, didn't let us score as many points as we'd like to, but a much better improvement from New Zealand's game earlier this week. Wet weather was a bit nervous heading out there at the beginning, but um, kind of the boys are really adapted um, to the conditions, and I think we played a bit more shorter and a bit more direct, which was you know much more needed in wet conditions. The message I, we, I got back to the, to the change rooms was kind of zero was what we wanted to do in the second half, but obviously you know 15 points were scored on us. Um, it was a bit disappointing to let those few tries in, um, but as you can see, 64 points is is, is definitely you know something bright that we can take positive from that from the match. Again, Zane, again, um, you know, that, I think that try at the end of the first half really epitomises him uh, as an individual, but a very strong carrier and just as equally to powerful in defence. You know, cementing a spot in some of the Sydney teams, um, but, you know, that's a long shot at the moment. Just got to play in this Colts footy next year and selections will come from there. Extremely proud of the boys, but again, New Zealand, too good on the day. Um, they play fast, physical footy and, you know, yeah, very proud of the boys, yeah, of course. We prepared for a wet game, we knew it was going to be wet and um, we altered our game to fit that sort of game. But um, no, yeah, they were just too good on the day and uh, their physicality and their prowess got through us, yeah. Their simple skills, catch pass, um, their quickness around the ball and their speed through the ruck. They were very precise and very good in that area and their halfback was very good in d dishing the ball out. Of course, yeah, there were blimps there where we could have had them, but um, of course you've got to be in there the whole 35 minutes of the half. Um, again, they were just too good and they came back at us and counted us and we couldn't hold it, yeah. Exciting time, heading straight out of school, but yeah, very excited for the future and um, hopefully next time we come against some of those boys, we'll, we'll be better for it.